Uh, don't shake your hand. How are you doing, Gagged and Burned? Yeah. Or as I like to call it, Netflix and chill. A <laughs> uh, little bit about myself, my name is Ben, I'm from Ireland. And uh, I can see a couple of confused faces that are going, that man's too Mediterranean looking to be Irish. Yeah. In fairness, you'd be uh, racist. Uh. We're a very multicultural society back home nowadays. We've got at least five black people. Uh. Watch tech progress. Uh. Uh, it's funny, I was in America in the summer at my sister's wedding. I was chatting to one of her friends. She's like, oh my God, you're from Ireland. <laughs> that is so super hot and cute. Yeah. I was like, oh, cheers. She's like, I would love to go to Ireland, like, so much. I heard it's, like, really mythical and mystical. <laughs> I said, you know, it's not Narnia. Yeah. You're not going to get off the airplane and be greeted by a half-naked, pissed-up <laughs> fawn called Tommy O'Tumbas. Yeah. No! <laughs> We've been making for you! <laughs> no! He'd be fully naked. He's a fawn. <laughs> yeah. uh, as I worked the other day, and I swear to God, this guy comes up and he's like, So, uh, Ben, yeah? You're like 35, right? I'm like, yeah, fuck off, thanks. Uh, and he's like, So, what was it like, you know, growing up in Ireland? <coughs> the IRA. <laughs> I said, Dude, we didn't all fucking live together. <laughs> <laughs> that would make a shit sitcom, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, coming up next on Channel 4, it's Tea with Terrorists. <laughs> And Maliki's mum's got some concerns. <laughs> Here, Maliki! Sweetheart, see if you're going outside the camp in a terror song. Would you do us a favour? Put on a bottle of clava. <laughs> Fuck's sake, it's freezing out there. You catch a dead cold sleeper. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, they blow up so fast. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, where are we going next? Oh, yeah, that's right. By the way, if, if you wonder why I'm looking at my hand, it's not because I don't know. Remember my set. It's just words of encouragement. You're doing great, Ben. Uh, We're laughing with you. Uh, <laughs> Unleash the news. Um, but no, it's winter. It's winter. It's winter outside. It's getting colder. But, but I don't mind the winter because for me, winter means football season's back. Give me fuck. Anybody football fans? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's good. Last night, nobody. So it's going to be fucking well. But I love football, and I was at home the other day watching the Champions League, and I was sitting there, and I was like, "This is fucking brilliant." We've got football on the telly, cold beer in the fridge. What could be better? Friends. No. <laughs> No, it's true because, like, at my age, I'm 35 and I'm single. Yeah. Uh, I hate doing that joke myself. And, uh, you know, all your friends are starting to pair off. You know, they're all settling down in a relationship. You don't see them as much. I was walking through Clapham Junction today, and two of those guys had, you know, tried to get you to go paintballing. They're like, what am I? You fancy going and pipe bowling? I was like, yeah! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh you, you, that was you two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's shit, stupidly, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, mate, we work, we work for a company. We, we'll fuel me. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll just call the lads. Hashtag boys on tour. Yeah. You're, you're definitely busy, though? You are. Oh, okay. No, no but winter, what I like about winter, well, one, the one unfortunate thing about winter is that already the Christmas ads have started, right? And the front runner, I don't know if you've seen it, if you've seen the new John Lewis advert? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the fact that this is encouraging young children to sneak behind their parents' back, contact isolated, lonely, and ostracized, let's be honest, uh, uh, for a reason, uh, and to give them spying equipment. That's just wrong, for a start. Uh, uh, secondly, it's fucking drab. I would like to leave this Somebody gave her a fucking hug and a bag of Skittles. There you are, taste the rainbow. <laughs> Cheer up, it's Christmas. But the thing that annoys me about it the most, right, is the target audience, right? It's so glossy and kind of upper middle class. Most families can't afford that kind of shit. You know what I mean? Or maybe I was just really poor. <laughs> Everyone's going, I have like that Christmas all the time, so Sunday. <laughs> And I, if I was a kid growing up in Ireland, I'd say, Hey, mummy, um, this is John Lewis Alfer, and it says there's a man on the moon. And if I get a telescope, then I'd see the man on the moon. Can I have a telescope on me? It's only 100 pounds. She would literally give me the inside tubing of a kitchen roll. I'd start looking through it. There you are, son. Now you're fucking seeing stars. <laughs> Joking. My man was far too drunk to lift a finger. Uh, <laughs> Love you, son. You're gonna be a good boy, aren't you? Childhood problems. 
<laughs> what are we going next? Uh, oh yeah, so that's it. So, um, so then, how long have we got today? Uh, oh, you've got two minutes. Great. Uh, so I saw an advert in the paper the other day, leading up to Christmas, and the advert was for a passionate Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, not a passionate Jesus, because Jesus is passionate. And that's ah. it, I'm Jesus, I'm passionate. Good one, makes fucking sense, yes? Uh, you resurrected yourself, for fuck's sake. 